Hello, friend. Today we are having a chat with JS, who is a narrator. So I'm super excited to chat with him. Let's hop into the interview. Yeah. Um, so I am a, a full time audiobook narrator. Uh, I've narrated over 75 audiobooks. Wow. Um, I, I guess how I started out is just being a bookworm, honestly. Um, I was that kid in school who was always kind of secretly reading a book inside my desk uh, <laughs> instead of paying attention in class. Yep. Um, so books have always been, you know, one of my number one loves. Um, and then uh, I also fell in love with acting, uh, you know, through school plays and stuff. I uh, was a theater major, became a professional actor right out of college. Um, cool. So... Uh, I've been a professional actor for a long time, kind of got into VO a little bit through that. Yeah. And, um, you know, eventually fell in love with audiobooks as a book lover. That's and I was awesome. like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if <laughs> I could read audiobooks? Because, you know, I'm right. already kind of doing VO stuff. Like, I love books. Like, it seems like a very natural career path. And so okay. I just kind of um, worked to figure out how I can make that happen. And, uh, and I did. Awesome. That's great. And you said you do it full time and everything now. Yep. I'm a full time narrator. Um, I'm also an author. I'm also an indie author. Cool. Um, but uh, my audiobook career is going better than my indie author career. Okay. Uh, that's actually my my number one goal for the new year is to uh, level up my author career to yep. try to get it get it on the same level as my narration <laughs> career. <laughs> and so I completely understand why you do want to do that, right? Uh, yeah. So with your author career, what kind of stuff do you write? And can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Yeah, uh, I have a completed uh, science fiction trilogy out. Cool. Uh, I'm currently working on an urban fantasy series uh, that I'm going to be launching in the spring. Um, I've got book one complete. Uh, I've got a uh, kind of a prequel novella complete. Um, I'm currently about halfway through book two, and my plan is to try to have um, books one through three complete by the time I launch, uh, which is going to awesome. be April or May. Okay, perfect. It's crazy when you start looking ahead, you're like, man, I don't have much time, <laughs> even though it feels like <laughs> yeah. you do, but you really don't. Like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, though. I'm excited for you. I always I like to ask this, like, what is your favorite book that you've ever read? See, up until about five years ago, I would never have been able to answer this question because I was just like, I love so many books. I don't have a single favorite. Right. But um, I did read a book uh, about five years ago that is now my favorite. And I oh, can wow. say I have a favorite book. Good. Um, and it is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. <sighs> yes, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's just, it's so beautiful and magical and just you know it's you know it gets all the feels and all the wonder in the world and it's just it's yep. lovely I, I just adore that book she's a good writer and she knows <laughs> how to like you said work those feels and you know a descriptive too and just this magical world it's it's beautiful yeah. I agree that's a great great um answer for that question <laughs> okay and then so if you could describe your narration style using five descriptive words how would you describe it <laughs> right okay this was one I actually had to think about um <laughs> But uh, I, I would go with adventurous, first of all, because uh, I do uh, narrate a lot of sci-fi and fantasy and kind of, you know, out there stuff. Uh, so nope. definitely adventurous. Um, also warm. You know, I like to, to connect with the, the reader and, you know, I like to feel like I'm telling a story next to the fire, you know, like right. we're all sitting around and like we're in this intimate space. Um, uh, after that, I will go with uh, wry and Witty, um, one cool. of my audiobook uh, narrator coaches told me that I'm a little too smart for my own good and I tend to sound like a smart ass sometimes when I'm narrating <laughs> without <laughs> unintentionally without you know to, right yeah without meaning to and oh, so so, uh, <laughs> so oh, we'll funny. go with those and and then uh, my last word would be intimate which okay. again goes back to that kind of warm you know close uh feeling like that's great yeah Wonderful. You did a great job on answering those. I think those were all good descriptive words. And so then what genres do you like narrating for? I know you said uh, fantasy and sci-fi. Yep. And yeah. Fantasy and science fiction are my my two, my well, first and second loves. Okay. Uh, that's actually the bulk of my work for sure. Um, cool. And that's intentional. That's because that's what I write. That's what I love. Right. You know, that's what I love to do. Um, but I also do mysteries and thrillers. Uh, I do a lot of romance under okay. my uh, romance pseudonym. Um, 
cool. <laughs> Which is not because I'm I'm embarrassed about it at all. Yeah. It's just it's just branding. You to know, kind of author, separate the two, right? As you an know? author, you know, yeah. you have to have certain branding, right. different pen names. You know, it's the same thing as a narrator. Right. Yeah, that's a good that's a good pointer. I'm <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but I guess you know, as an author, you would need to have that differentiation. So in audio as well, probably. Yep. Interesting. Exactly. Um, can you share with us a little bit about the process of the process that you follow when narrating a book, like when you reach out, when the author reaches out to you until like the very end, like what's the process look like? <laughs> sure, sure. Um, well, let's see that from the very beginning, the first contact with the author, you know, I have a, I have a welcome packet that I'll send out, uh, you know, I'll kind of talk through my process with the author, like, hey, this is how I work. Uh, obviously, we'll discuss rates and different payment mm -hmm. options and things like that. Um, once we've agreed that, hey, we're a good fit and we're going to work together, um, I will send them out a production information sheet, okay. uh, which they will fill out telling me things like, you know, the tone of the piece, uh, descriptions of different characters, how they envision yeah. them. Um, pronunciation guides can be very helpful, especially when doing uh, sci-fi and fantasy where there's a lot of oh, made sure. up words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of that, you know, those those names that you can't even really pronounce. So I'm sure that's helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes the author doesn't know either. They're like, I don't know. I just wrote it. I don't say it out loud. <laughs> oh my That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> and at that point, I just, you know, go with what feels right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. But, um, yeah, so once we get through all that, uh, I read the manuscript. I make notes. Um, then I create a sample for the author. Uh, I usually try to include as many of the uh, major characters voices as I can in the initial sample just to make sure we're on oh. the same page, uh, make sure they're happy with, uh, you know, that I'm staying true to their vision kind of thing. Um, and then once we've got all that ironed out, uh, then I uh, then I go to it. Cool. And start recording. Wonderful. That's really cool that you do like the sample before and that kind of just shows like all the voices of the characters and everything. And I'm sure that's really helpful then um, and cuts back on editing later, like where you have to go back and change things or do you also have to do that sometimes? Like, well, the, the purpose of the sample is to make sure everything's good ahead of time because okay. once you've recorded the whole book, there is no going back and changing right. you know, something for the whole, but that's just way too much, too much editing. I bet. Uh, you know, so the, the purpose of the sample is is basically that's the author giving their stamp of approval to what I'm doing, saying, hey, right. you're pronouncing this right. You're, you know, you sound good on this character. Cool. Um, you know, and then if I deviate that from in the book, then, of course, that's something I'll have to fix. Then they can say, hey, you said it this way in the sample. Uh, but then in chapter 32, you said it this way. That's an error. And they, oh, yeah. You're right. That's an error. I need to fix that. Right. But. Okay. That's very <laughs> interesting. There's so many things that go behind the scenes of doing an audiobook. So it's it's just like I wouldn't have even have thought of that. <laughs> How about are there any things that you prefer your authors give you? Like I know that you said in that um, sheet that they have to kind of like share the like the feel of the story and mm -hmm. the characters. Like how in depth is that? Is that quite in depth or? It can be, and honestly, that really depends on how in-depth the author wants to be. Okay. Um, for example, when I work with uh, big publishers, you know, like Tantor, Podium, et cetera, right. they give me nothing. They just say, here's the manuscript. You know, we trust oh, your wow. professional. You're going to do a good job interpreting. Yep. Go do your thing. Okay. And I just go do my thing. Um and I'm comfortable doing that, but yep. you know, most indie authors, you know, when you're working one on one, would prefer a little more guidance, a little more say in what's happening, uh, yep. you know. And so that's why I, I offer the opportunity for them to give me character descriptions, and they can get as nitty gritty as they want, or sure. you know, be as hands off as they want. Really, it's okay. it's up to the author. That's very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. Okay. And then, so what are some things that you believe? authors should look for in their narrators? That's a big question. Um, <laughs> Whipping out honestly, all the hard ones. <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, the, the number one thing I think is just tone. Just, okay. you know, listen to their samples and is this, does this sound like your story? Because mm. everybody's got a different voice, everybody's got a different inflections and 
you know, some person's voice might be better for this type of story. Some person's voice might be better for this type of story. You know, yep. like I said, I can be a bit of a smart ass. So I do comedy really well. Uh -huh. You know, some people may not, you know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, awesome. I, I like to I like to say it's like when you're when you're looking for a new place to live, you know, look for a place to rent, looking for a house to buy. You know, there's that they kind of say you just you know it when you walk in. Right. Like, you know, you look at dozens of places and like, eh, this one's good, but this one's good, but and yeah. then you walk into that one and you just know you're just like, oh, this is the place. And yeah. I feel like narrators are a lot like that. You know, you just cool. just listen and you'll know it. You'll you'll hear that one voice, you'll be like, oh yes, that is my story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. I love that. I love that analogy. I love that. That's perfect. And so you recommend that if people are interested in looking into their narrators, going to like ACX or find uh, the voices or how you exactly? Can go to, yeah, you can go to ACX, uh, get a lot of voices that way. You can go to find away voices, get a lot of voices that way. Other authors in your genre. Right. Uh, talk to them, you know, say, hey, have you done audiobooks? Did you like your narrator? Did you have a good experience working with them? Perfect. You know, if they say yes, you know, and you feel like their book is comparable to your book, you know, give their narrator a listen. Maybe they'll yep. work for your book. Um, sure. You know, use, use your community yep. is, is what I say. That's wonderful. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. And then, um, so what is the average turnaround time then for you with narration? Like when you're working on the whole project, mm -hmm. how, how would you say? Um, roughly a month okay. uh, from, from the time I start to the time I finish. Um, and I work with, uh, so I work with a, a post-production team. So basically I'll do all my prep work and then my own recording. And then I send the files off uh, to an engineer, sound engineer, Okay. Uh, who does their job, then they send them to a proofer, then I get that back, you know, a little report with all my mistakes, like, hey, you mispronounced this word, or hey, you okay. messed this okay. sentence up in this chapter, and so then I do all my little corrections, send it back to the engineer, they plug them in, and then we're done. Wow. Uh, that whole process generally takes about a month. Uh, it can take more depending on everybody's availability for scheduling, but um, roughly a month. <laughs> that makes sense. And then how about how many books do you do a month then? Like, do you work on multiple projects? Uh, yeah, I do. I do about three books a month, three to okay. four. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Cool. Okay. And then, so how far in advance does an author need to book with you in order to work with you if they're interested? Um, I mean, my schedule fluctuates, obviously, uh, depending on scheduling. I would say a safe rule of thumb is uh, maybe three months in advance. Okay, um, perfect. You know, it's it's possible it will be less, uh, but just to be safe, you know, to plan on like, hey, I want this book launching by this date, like, talk to me three months before that date. Yeah. Oh, okay. cool. Okay. Well, where can writers and authors find out about you and reach out to you if they're interested in working with you? Uh, sure. Yeah. My, I am at arquinaudiobooks.com. Uh, that's uh, like my last name, which is A-R-Q-U-I-N, uh, audiobooks.com. Okay. And uh, if by some chance you want to find out about me as an author, uh, you can go to arquinworlds.com. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I love how you tied that in with both your last name. That's perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I will share all of the, your links in the, in the description below the video. And um, I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much for coming on and doing this interview with me. Thank you so much for having me. It was a yeah. delight.